Today, Hexibit here. Today I'll be playing one of my favorite games. It's called Zeppelin Giants of the Sky. It is actually one of the games I wanted to make a video of first, but I wanted to wait till I was a tiny bit better at making videos for this gem. Um, Zeppelin Giants of the Sky was released in 1994. It was developed by Icarion and distributed in like outside of Germany by Microprose. In Zeppelin Giants of the Sky you can choose between one and two player mode and obviously it's about Zeppelins. Uh, I don't want to play the easy version. Yeah there's um, the easy version I think you don't have to haggle and yeah so you can choose a rather dashing gentleman as your uh, picture always like this dreamy looking man by the by the window there. Uh, let's give him a good name. Let's call him I like to give them like first and last name. Let's call him like a typical German name Hans Schmidt And then we can name the Zeppelin and I mean the Zeppelin is a ship so we name it uh, I always wanted to name it Marion, but that would be English, but whatever. Let's let's name it Marion. Um, so you start in the year 1901. And you start with having a Zeppelin and um, two million uh, currency. You have different options here. You can have Airships on assembly. I got only one worker in the moment, so let's put one airship on assembly. The build time would be 5,000 days because we only have so low workers. Let's get some more workers. Workers are not, uh, when I can buy materials, workers are not really expensive. Scientists are. But you will want scientists in order to develop better airships. And you need better airships in order to travel to places that are further away. And you need to travel to places that are further away in order to get... Uh, you need to be there in person to get uh, an order for airships and selling airships will be what makes you most money. So then on the airship itself we need to fuel the airship. You can also have like depots of fuel and buy the fuel when it's cheaper, but I kind of never do that. And then you can choose if you want uh, hydrogen or helium. I always go for helium, even though it's more expensive. Uh, a lot more expensive. And then we can put some advertising on our airship to actually get some money. So let's have a look which pays most. I guess the beer commercial is the... Let's get the beer commercial. And here I can see the status of the airship. So it's brand new and I could also repair it or scrap it here. So... Very good. Then what else can we do? We can have a look in the city. Uh, Berlin, capital of Germany since 1871, originated out of the Finnish fishing villages Berlin and Köln, granted city status in 1235. Um, you can also see if there's freight contracts available, so you could transport things and get money for that. And there's possibly a war soon and no other rumors. War is really good in this game. It's a bit of a 
hung out time till you get to the first start of or leading up to World War One because then like sails will go up in airships. So let's do our first journey here. Let's fly. Yeah, why not fly to Athens? But I think we can raise the price a bit on that. You need to see like what price people are still willing to pay for a trip. Especially then if you add uh, scheduled lines yeah, of so. um, airship travel. So now I've sent the airship off and now we click on the calendar to start our journey. And we get this... Uh, what is that called? Like this old school Morse code um, report here. Kaiser bestows order of the Red Eagle on Graf Zeppelin. Yeah, so Zeppelin obviously famous Zeppelin builder, entrepreneur. And now, because the year ticked over, we get the newspaper. 1900 edition, the year in view. First Zeppelin takes to the skies. On the 2nd of July, the first airship of Graf Ferdinand von Zeppelin, the 420 feet long, 36 feet wide, LZ1 flew over Lake Constance. Marveling crowds celebrated the event. Wright Brothers attempt flight. North Carolina, USA. The Wright Brothers have made their first test flights with their home-built glider. Further tests are to follow shortly. Olympic Games in Paris. The second Olympic Games have been held in Paris. The greatest honors go to the American athlete Fence Line, who won free running events and the long jump. Well, that's a German name as well. <laughs> so... One week wasn't enough to arrive in Athens, so we have to click the calendar again. And now we get a report that our airship has landed. And then we can see what's going on in Athens. The Russian Air Force is interested in buying some airships. Stop. Register to tender. <laughs> <laughs> within the next three weeks, I guess, yeah. In Moscow. Yeah. I guess I could fly there, but Moscow is a bit far with... I mean, I've just flew to Athens. Should I fly to Moscow? Maybe to Paris first? No, I think I'm not flying to Moscow. It's, it's, it's a bit far. With the first models of airships you have, you also really can't fly over to the US. You might be able to do one trip, but then you're stuck there. And I don't even think you can scrap it if you're not on the home. Yeah, and you don't want an airship catastrophe. So let's have a look in the city, what's going on here. Capital of Greece, grown up around the Acropolis, built by King Krik... Krik... Krik Corps? I can hardly read that. Crack crops. Oh well. Uh, cradle of democracy. So there's no rumors uh, other than the war soon ending. And Roseanne is in Moscow. Roseanne is your lady friend you want to meet, but do I want to fly to Moscow? Let's risk flying to Moscow and uh, see if my airship can make it. I think it's a bit far, but. I mean, if they offer it to me this early, but I know sometime later they will always have things going on in the US and you just really can't travel over there yet. Well, my yeah, price so. wasn't too expensive, it seems. Okay, departure. This weather's good, the engines are good. Yeah, I could make it. Queen Victoria dies. Yeah. And we need some more time to get to Moscow. No, it went there pretty fine, I guess. Aship Marion arrival in Moscow. Good. So let's see um, about the city first. Oh, Roseanne is in Moscow, even though it says that possibly she's in Madrid. 
Moscow, the Kremlin lies at the heart of the city, business and cultural center, seat of the Tsars between the 14th and 17th centuries. So, we want to register for ne negotiations. You just need to register and then you can leave again. Let's have a look if there's any fright. No. But there's Roseanne. So let's say hello and be a gentleman. Hello. May I introduce myself? My name is... Hello, Angel. Nice to meet you. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Let's go with I hope I'm not disturbing you. Nice. My name is Roseanne Brixton. Haven't I seen you somewhere before? What a lovely name. I love you. Will you marry me? Uh, that maybe is a bit too straightforward. Uh, what a lovely name. Thank you. Your name is nice too. Um... How about joining me? Uh, that, that's a bit straightforward as well, isn't it? Lovely weather today. Shut up about the weather. Oh, she's feisty. Um, perhaps we could see each other again for tea. I hope we can meet again soon. I'm honored to see you next time. So, and now we can no longer chat with her and we will need to see her again in a different city. And usually she likes to be in San Francisco, which is on the other side of the world. Um, and we can't go there for a long time. So, I think we should fuel the airship probably, yeah. And then we just fly to Berlin. Three passengers booked a trip, so I guess Berlin, Moscow is a bit expensive. You're, welcome, sir. You're not really making that much money with um, the costs of flying for that first airship with only five people. It is a loss. Uh, to fly around, but you need to fly in order to be able to sign up for the most city. You need to fly because you want to register for the negotiations of selling airships, and that's really important uh, because, as I said, sales of airships you make most money. So, negotiations in Moscow. The Russian Air Force wants to order two airships competing for this contract are Hans Schmidt and one competitor. For which both competitors make independent tenders per Zeppelin, the competitor with the lowest tender receives the contract. Okay, so I need to make a guess. I will go really low because I want to sell one. Um, obviously, when you know the price is better than maybe... Oh, that's actually lowest I could go. I'm not going to go the lowest, but let's do it like this. Uh, the contract for the supply of airships is awarded to Hans Schmidt. Payment will follow delivery of an airship. Get to work. Good. So we have a contract so we can uh, beef up our workforce. Let's get some materials and here I can see the... Um, you always want to have one on assembly because if you have zero on assembly the workers will just not do anything. Um, so let's get some more workers and we can see the, the ship price going up but we've said we would um, sell it for what was it like 270 uh, units so we can Ah, uh, a month, a bit over a month. I mean, I kind of want to show you how what happens when the ship is finished, so I think I will just go a bit higher now. Let's see that we can get it finished soon. And maybe, maybe we can get some more scientists as well now. You actually have your finances here as well. Here's a stock market. Where you can see the development of other. Um, what are they called on the stock market? Uh, you know what I mean. And also your own, um, obviously, because I could sell a share. So we can issue some 
some of our own there. You can take on loans, which you possibly need if you go in the red and you can see your balance sheet. Um, yeah, I'm getting some money from advertisements. Uh, the cost of my... Uh, Wharf. Um, as you can see, the scientists are pretty expensive in comparison to dock workers uh, or workers. The dock personnel is something else again. Um, when you repair airships, you can also assign more people to that, and when you're not repairing them, you want to take that off again. Uh, yeah, I didn't really get much money. I did also fly, but. Where's that? Ha! Huh, I don't see it at the moment. Yeah, scheduled flights come later when you have bigger airships. With the five people airship, it doesn't make sense to open a scheduled flight. You would do that here. It's a bit funny how to set it up. You need to open an office first and everything, but yeah. And the funny thing is the management... Sometimes the, the, the pro management doesn't really give you more money. Yeah. So, okay, uh, how's my airship? Very good, very good. So let's just fly a short distance. Ah, how about to London? But we need to lower the price significantly. That maybe is one thing about the game that's a bit annoying that you need to like, you can't punch in a number you need to. Is that a reasonable price for London? We'll see when the customers book. Oh, five booked, okay. Jawohl, sir. Jawohl, sir. Um, I will just play till we can deliver an airship and I think then I'll give you a little review. So we land in London. An interview with American Light Magazine earns you of 3,000 pounds. Yeah, you can have like random things. You can have donations or sudden costs, a fire in your factory, things like that. So the ball wants soon to be ended as a rumor. We don't know where Roseanne is. London, capital of Great Britain, the seat of government and city of royal palaces. Ancient trade center named Londinum by the Romans. Any freight contracts? So, do you march from London to New Delhi? No. We're not flying to New Delhi. Yeah, you need to be careful when you take a freight contract um, because there's also a penalty if you are not able to do the time. Sometimes there will just not be enough time to fly over. So, we just fly back to Berlin then. I could have raised the price a bit, but... Yeah, well, so. so, we've arrived. Notification from the Hans Schmidt works. Stop. New Zeppelin. Ready. Stop. A new airship has been delivered to the customer of Hans Schmidt. So cute how it just does a little fly past there. Oh, Airships are awesome. I, I would have loved to travel on an airship. It really is a very elegant way to travel. So, yeah, 9%. There's quite a few new airships to develop, so I really should be having more scientists, but scientists cost money. Um, but I mean, we've already made a profit with selling that one airship. So, I had a bit of a think about what... Um, I want to have a look at my notes here. Uh, what my review for the game would be. Oh, obviously I'm biased because I love this game. I've played it a lot more than I should have probably because it really is always the same timeline and everything. So I've had a hard time thinking about things I don't like about the game. I don't like the, the clickety click with the numbers here. That That is a bit annoying that you can't put in a number. And it will lead to you just having 
lower prices because you can't be bothered with setting that correctly. Um, a con maybe would be, it is a bit repetitive, I mean once you've played it once, but I like to play it more than once. Um, and there isn't like much action or much visual action in, in that sense, uh, if that's what you want. But the, the pros for me are these special um, sepia graphics that they had. This game is from 1994 and they could have had color but they choose this nice sepia color to make it look like old photographs. And with that they actually achieved really good graphics for the time. Um, they call it like almost photorealism because I didn't know that but the eyes can distinguish better between the gray tones than between colors so you get these nice shades here like basically a photograph yeah so I think that's awesome the music is absolutely lovely and what I also like is the history snippets you get you get like going up to World War one and all the major events you get these uh, annual newspaper reports, so that's really nice. If you haven't played it before and you like games that are not like fast-paced action, um, then I would say, yeah, definitely check it out. It really is a lovely game. Well, that's the end of my video. It's probably already quite long. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.